Outer Manchuria Chinese, Y Manzhou Pinyin, Y Manzhou, Russian, Priamor translate. Priamori is an unofficial term for a territory in Northeast Asia that was formerly controlled by the Qing dynasty and now belongs to Russia. It is considered part of Manchuria by some definitions. Russia officially received this territory by way of the Treaty of Igun in 1858 and the Treaty of Peking in 1860. The northern part of the area was also in dispute between 1643 and 1689. Outer Manchuria comprises the present-day Russian areas of Primorsky Krai, Southern Khabarovsk Krai, the Jewish Autonomous Oblast, and Amur Oblast. Another Chinese claim adds the island of Sakhalin. Currently, the People's Republic of China has no claim to the territory. The Treaty of Nerchinsk signed in 1689 after a series of conflicts, defined the China-Russia border as the Stanovoy Mountains and the Argon River, making Outer Manchuria a part of Qing Dynasty China. After losing the Opium Wars, the Qing dynasty was forced to sign a series of treaties that gave away land and ports to the European powers, these were known as the Unequal Treaties. Starting with the Treaty of Igun in 1858 and the Treaty of Peking in 1860, the Sino-Russian border was realigned in Russia's favor along the Amur and Usuri rivers. As a result, China lost Outer Manchuria, and access to the Sea of Japan. History of the term The terms, Outer Manchuria and Inner Manchuria, modeled on Inner and Outer Mongolia, were coined to support Chinese claims to Russian territory and were never used in scientific literature. Manchuria, subdivided into Northern and Southern Manchuria, is an accepted term for the area now belonging to China. Critics of this analogy, however, suggest that while Mongols under the Qing dynasty were a recognized ethnic group, Manchus were a group constructed by the chieftain Nurhaci in the early 17th century, mainly for the purposes of military conquest in China. According to this view, there were no Manchus north of the Nen River and the Songhua River, so that region cannot properly be called Outer Manchuria. However, the native population of Outer Manchuria were southern Tungusics, closely related to the Manchu and no more different from them than the differences found among various Mongol groups. The only exception was the Nivik people inhabiting the lowest reaches of the Amur River and the island of Sakhalin. Topic. Place names Today, there are reminders of the ancient Manchu domination in English-language toponyms, for example, the Seacote Allen, the Great Coastal Range, the Konka Lake, the Amur and Usuri Rivers, the Greater Kingan, Lesser Kingan and other small mountain ranges, and the Shantar Coastal Archipelago. Evenks, who speak a closely related Tungusic language, make up a significant part of the indigenous population. History The original inhabitants of the region were apparently the Mohe and other Tungusic tribes. Other entities occupying parts of Outer Manchuria include the ancient mixed Mohe and Proto-Korean kingdoms of Goguryeo and Balhai, whose territories extended from the northern Korean peninsula to the southern and central parts of Inner and Outer Manchuria. According to the Treaty of Nerchinsk in 1689, the Manchu-Russian border was the Argon River and the Stanovoy Mountains until the Pacific coast. The eastern end of the boundary was generally held to be the Uda River, leaving Outer Manchuria to China. However, the Qing dynasty ceded Outer Manchuria to Russia in the Treaty of Igun in 1858 and the Treaty of Peking in 1860. A small region to the north of the Amur, known as the 64 villages east of the Heilongjiang River, was kept by the Qing dynasty under the Treaty of Igun, but was invaded and annexed by Russia in 1900. Outer Manchuria formed part of the far eastern provinces of the Soviet Union and was used as the launch pad for the Soviet assault on Japanese occupied Inner Manchuria in 1945. During the Chinese Civil War, Chinese Communist forces began the war with large amounts of Inner Manchuria already in their hands. In 1949, the victorious Communists established the present day People's Republic of China. In 2004, Russia agreed to transfer Yinlong Island and half of Haixiazi Island to China, ending a long standing border dispute between Russia and China. Both islands are found at the confluence of the Amur and Usuri rivers, and were until then administered by Russia and claimed by China. The transfer was meant to foster reconciliation and cooperation between the two countries, but it has also sparked different degrees of discontent on both sides. 
Russians, especially Cossack farmers in Khabarovsk who had plowlands on the islands, were unhappy about the loss of territory. The transfer has been ratified by both the Chinese National People's Congress and the Russian State Duma. The official transfer ceremony was held on site on 14 October 2008. <laughs> Disputes Some Manchu and Han Chinese regard Outer Manchuria as territory that was unfairly taken away. However, outstanding boundary issues between China and Russia have been officially settled. Article 6 of the 2001 Sino-Russian Treaty of Friendship provides that the contracting parties—the People's Republic of China and the Russian Federation—have no territorial claims. As the Republic of China, now based in Taiwan, has never recognized the People's Republic of China or its border treaties with other countries, some Chinese maps published in Taiwan still consider the entire Haixiazi Island and the 64 villages east of the river to be Chinese territories. However, these maps show Outer Manchuria, sometimes called Lost Territories in the Northeast, Dong Bei Shida to be Russian territory. See also 1991 Sino-Russian Border Agreement Hulan Manchuria under Qing rule Outer Mongolia Outer Northwest China References Works cited Topic. Further reading Fletcher, Joseph. Sino Russian Relations, 1800 62, The Loss of Northeast Manchuria. In Fairbank, John K. The Cambridge History of China, 10. Cambridge University Press. pp. 332 351. Topic. External links Books.google.com, Russia in Manchuria — 1903 illustrated article